Hello internet world. Welcome to a new video on the Geekanoids channel. In today's video I have got a pair of amazing Bluetooth speakers and in fact uh, this particular pair of speakers is from Edifier. Edifier very kindly sent me in their R1850DB uh, active Bluetooth bookshelf speakers. Uh, so these have got a Bluetooth functionality. Uh, they've also got some really good inputs on the back of one of the speakers. So they're, they're very sort of flexible in the way you can use them. And uh, I'm going to talk to you about the audio quality as well, which for this type of speaker uh, is something that I didn't expect to experience. Uh, so do stay tuned just to hear my opinion on these. I'm going to give you a good look around the speakers as well, and they are really solidly built. Uh, this is a live broadcast as well, of course. As always, on the Geek and Noise channel, you can use the live chat or the super chat. Please do. And if you're watching after live broadcast, then please do leave me some regular comments below. And uh, just to touch on the comment section, I answer pretty much every single comment that comes in. I've done that from day one. Uh, I'm now approaching my uh, 14th year, or start. Or, well, I'm in my 13th year, I'm approaching my 14th year on YouTube, and I pride myself on taking part in the comment section regularly, so please do chat to me down there as well. Anyway, on with the review of the Edifier R1850DBs. Uh, first of all, let's show you inside the box. We do get a little remote control. Uh, it's uh, an average quality remote control. I would have liked to have seen something a little bit better, but it does the job. It allows you to switch around between the PC input, auxiliary, optical, uh, co uh, coaxial or composite input, coaxial input, and also the Bluetooth modes. You can switch modes on here. You've also got some track control and volume control, and of course, turning the speakers on and off. We're gonna start with the lighter of the two speakers. It's still got some weight to it. You can see we've got a port here on the bottom. We've got the main uh, sort of lower frequency driver and then the little tweeter up the top. It's made of wood, nice wood cabinet with this sort of black ash effect finish on it. And then on the back, we've just got an input on the back of this one that goes to the other speaker. I've also removed the cloth grill on this one. Uh, the cloth grill just sits on pegs. Let's just pop this back on, if I can do it one-handed. There we go. So the cloth grill just sits in front. I like the look of them with or without the cloth grills, uh, but with the cloth grill on, I think it just finishes them off nicely. And then, before I show you the other speaker, I will just mention that when you see all of the connections on the back of this, you do obviously get a cable inside the box for connecting the two speakers together. Uh, you also get some other audio cables inside the box as well. Now I have got one minor negative on this particular uh, pair of speakers, and that is that it's a captive cable UK plug, because I'm in the UK. I just wish it was a, a cable that you could disconnect. It just allows for easier routing the cables, and also if you want to put a longer cable on, you can use a longer cable, but alas, it's an integrated cable. Uh, on the back here, we have got the uh, main power on off. Let's give you a closer look at this, actually. Let's stand up and do this. We've got uh, the main power on off just here. We've got the connector that goes to the other speaker just here. We've got the coaxial input, optical input. We've got two pairs of RCA phono type inputs here. Uh, one of them you can use to go to a PC, and this is just marked as an auxiliary input here as well. Uh, then we've got some controls for controlling the sound. So we've got treble, we've also got bass, and then we've also got the master volume, uh, which is also a button. This allows you to actually cycle around and select the different inputs. So you can change between these inputs or indeed Bluetooth. Of course, you can do that on the remote. I'd find that a lot easier to do on the remote. Uh, with the volume, you can sort of set the main volume, but then you can, of course, switch back to using the remote to refine the volume uh, further. So very, very good indeed. Uh, there is, uh, th this is sort of DSP, digital signal processing. So the tone control is done uh, digitally inside the speaker. Let's just pop that back down. Oh, it's quite heavy. They've yeah, got some good weight to them, very good build quality. Uh, really nice to see the optical input, first of all. Uh, the Bluetooth is Bluetooth version 4.1, uh, and the auxiliary and coaxial inputs, just the icing on the cake. So really good uh, sort of uh, uh, 
uh, range of inputs. Uh, also worth noting is it's quoted as having a 100 to 240 volt switch in power supply. So you could swap that plug out. Obviously do take some advice if you're gonna do that, but the, it should have a switch in power supply inside so you can use it in different voltages in different countries, or you can get a different plug adapter, use it in different countries as well. I think it would just been a bit easier to have that non-captive cable. Uh, now, moving on to the audio quality. 70 watts RMS output, they go extremely loud very, very loud indeed. And the audio is very well controlled. And I think that's down to a few things, obviously good quality drivers, but also having a, a nice wooden cabinet on these uh, really does stop the sound from resonating around too much. So it's a very, very tight sound. Uh, now, when you buy a pair of like regular computer speakers, sometimes when you get the, the, the cheaper ones with like a plastic, uh, plastic sort of case to them, they can sound a bit sort of weak. They sound very, very strong, very, very authoritative, and they go extremely loud. That 70 watt output is very impressive indeed. If I was using these purely as computer speakers and paying the price that they sell for, I would be really happy, really happy with my, my uh, purchase decision, because as, just as a pair of computer speakers, either side of a monitor, I think they perform admirably, really good tonal quality to them, nice amount of detail and a nice amount of low end. Uh, but add into the fact that we can also put something in digitally, that's really cool, so we could put in perhaps a games console, and then add into the fact that we've got the other coaxial input and another input as well, and Bluetooth, so we can actually connect this direct to our smartphone. It's really a good all round package, uh, and the sound quality from all of the inputs has been extremely good. Uh, Bluetooth, obviously, I, well, I say obviously, you can hear a little bit of difference in the audio when you're connected via Bluetooth, but it's not a big degradation in audio quality. You just know that you're streaming, uh, but certainly a very, very good performance streaming direct from your smartphone. Uh, so that is uh, pretty much it. I, I think I can recommend them purely because they are such great value for money purchase and they're a real solid pair of speakers. If you want to pick them up for yourself, please do check out the links down in the video description area and also a link down there to the Edify website. And also if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that like button. Thanks for watching everyone. I'll see you in another video very soon.